after that, it was another incident. Uh, a police officer, uh, police officers and a flying squad member kicked, come through my mum's door with me. I didn't live there. And uh, this is, it's just mad, Jane. And I think back now, it's just, you're gonna, it's madness. And uh, they come to my mum's house. I didn't live there, so I had the ump. So I arrested me or something, forget. So my dad was getting up for work in the morning, looked tired. My mum was in a dressing gown, usual scene, blue lights. I went, I don't live here, yeah? So I'm coming in the house because you're in the wrong house. So calm down, Tony, because the police know at that time, they was getting a bit, I was a bit of a loose cannon, mate, even with them. Yeah, they weren't pulling me up without a, a lot of a lot of them, yeah? Because, so this officer at the time knows who he is at, to this day, probably, like, you know. He said to me, he said to my dad, have you done a bit of boxing? Which I found a bit of an insult. He went, because your nose looks flat, yeah? So I looked at my dad's side on the stairs and I went to my dad, don't worry, because I was handcuffed and all the bobbies were in the room. They found some empty tickets of cocaine, like empty, yeah? Because at that time, they wouldn't have been filled with me with my behaviour. But it was just empty to like get some the next day, move on, whatever. And I said, this copper, I'm going to do you tomorrow, yeah? And my Scottish pal was like, with, uh, next time I met him, I said, no, that's it. I said, I'm going to do you tomorrow. He went, yeah, really? Who do you think you are? Because I went, I am. Because I felt like I was hurting because my mum and dad were up again late at night, through the door, searching everything, yeah? I took that personal, do you know what I mean? I said to him, I'm going to do you tomorrow. I'm coming out. Dad, and I looked at him, I went, I'm going to do it. I said, if not, we get in the van now, I'll have these handcuffs on. I said, I hear you're ABA boxing champion for the Metropolitan Police, yeah? So he went, yeah, yeah, so what's that got to fucking do with it? I said, well, I'll leave these on now. This is true story, I'm not here to talk ego. I said, we get in the van now, win or lose, I know I'm going to do you in the back of the van or in the cell. I said, all these can have a fight at me after and kick the fuck out of me if they want, if you lose. So he's gone, who do you think you are? Next day I got Bell, my Scottish mate, I won't name for certain, he comes and sees me, come outside West Ham uh, Police Station, they're on me as soon as I come down the steps, just want to search her again. But my friends just give me some cocaine. But I had a little thing in my pocket where I'd sling it round, it was hidden, yeah? So I slipped that round, thought that's secure, as they're patting me down, gone past that, they're looking, thinking, right, because they know I like a supply to party again. So I mean, Scottish mate, he's, he, we're walking along the road. I went, I've got a phone call as I'm on the mobile walking along. And uh, my brother said, you ain't gonna guess who's in here. Yeah, I went, who's that? He said, the other fella, the old Bill. And um, as we walked in, I said, I looked over and uh, you know, I looked back, I just can't believe I've done this. I looked over now, what man knows? Every man don't like a prison sentence. No, no man loves, would do anything not to go to prison. I thought it's worth my prison to go and get him. So anyway, I'll go to the toilet. And I'm not saying it's big, because I don't want to give the wrong message. I'm saying how crazy it is. So let's not please think that I'm building this up as an ego thing. I'm saying how mixed up I was. So I'll go to the toilet, have a line of cocaine, walk round to him. I go, right this. I go, yeah, you all right? He goes, you're in enough trouble you want for a stabbing in a thingy. I went, oh yeah. Absolutely annihilated him, yeah. And uh, they was, they were, listen, they was going to kill us when they got us. Like, they was literally uh, like searching boots. Carly knew. My mate had gone back to Scarsgow. He slipped. I should have gone with him. But I stayed thinking I'd go another route. But someone grasped me up. And uh, I was caught. But I took a doctor with me because otherwise they would have probably killed me. You know what I mean? At that time. Because he, he had a lot of injuries. And then I went away again and I beat about five not guilties at the old Bailey because the, 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 they said, even though Mr. Isaac had done all the damages, uh, a lot of people jumped in. The, the cop said, no, but I knew he'd done the damages through my fingers. But the judge said, no, it's an affray because he's the only one here today. So looking at 15 years even then, I've reduced down to an affray. And then uh, done that on remand and then got the six years for the stabbing.